Hi, I'm Trevor Boggs here with Steven Sorokoff at 54 Below for the Broadway Beats Lunch, a tail wagging event, and I'm here with Amy Sherber, founder and president of Amy's Bread. Lovely to be with you today. Thank you very much. I'm glad you could come today. It's great to be here. Thank you for the delicious bread and the delicious sandwich that it accompanied. That was a, your, your whole wheat sandwich yes. roll. It's a New York State whole wheat sandwich roll made with a local grain from upstate, so it adds a lot of flavor, crunch to the bread. I can honestly say it's the best sandwich roll I've ever tasted, so that, that's an easy one. That was a gimme right there. It's not, not hard to make that plug. So first and foremost, are you yourself a pet owner? Actually, we were just talking about this. We have one fish right now. That's the only pet we have. Okay, so but we do a wet love pet. dogs. Yes, but yes, we do. And it's a just land a, animal our, soon. Our uh, our life is kind of crazy running a bakery, so we don't have that. We're not home enough to take care of our dog and walk it all the time. So we don't That's have right. one right now. It but. takes uh, good dog ownership is a big time commitment, yes. and uh, yeah, you're a little busy. So I was going to ask, what is your favorite part of the work that you do? If you could bring it down to one thing, makes I it all worth it. It's really meeting people that taste our products and like working with the public and the people that are tasting our bread and hearing their stories about the bread or the cake or the occasions where our product is part of their life and they've taken us home with them. It's, sort of, it's right. really special. Food is so personal and, and so much a part of our lives and so you get to share in people's, their yeah, family their, their experiences. Their occasions and their, and their the restaurant meals or wherever the, the bread oh, may be. Absolutely. I was actually watching a uh, documentary recently. Um, Michael Pollan has this wonderful uh, documentary on Netflix and he was exploring bread um, and how it's really elemental to so many cultures. In many cultures, the bread itself is sacred. It's right. present at every meal. It's the one constant that's always there. So as a baker, right. you're constantly part of people's lives. So what would you say is the most challenging aspect of running a business and the work that you do, growing a I business? Mean, I think that right now the most challenging part is just being a business owner in New York City with the changing marketplace. There's such a saturation of businesses. The customer's a bit fickle, like trying new something new every single day of the week. And it's, you know, there's a lot of competition, but also like the local people may not even be paying attention to their local businesses. So I think that I really feel like being local is a big thing right now. Like actually supporting your local business mm -hmm. is a really important thing. And I feel like we want to get the word out to the people of New York, you know, the places that make things by hand that are special and different, you know, really support those because they can't last forever in the current marketplace. Now, all these big chains keep coming in because they can afford the rent and they can kind of muscle their way through with all the different ups and downs of the economy. So That's right. the challenge of being a business owner, doing things the right way and treating your staff well and, and still sustaining your business, that's a big challenge. Mm, the local mentality is so important because it's the antidote to all that the, the big chains can't deliver for a neighborhood the way a local business can. So that's wonderful, yeah. wonderful to hear. I just moved back to New York and I was born in Midtown. I'm back oh, here now. Oh, so great. some would say it's not yeah. a neighborhood to me. Yeah. It's my favorite neighborhood it in the is. world. I so know. Yeah, this I, is where we live as well and we really love this neighborhood. It's got um, a lot of history. It's got the Broadway side near it, but it's also a community of people that really care about the area. Absolutely. I feel that very much. I feel totally at home because it is the home to so many. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. It's got it all, right? Mm -hmm. So. I'm interested to know, and perhaps I will reveal that I didn't do my research here, is there, it's a very different kind of dog of course, but is there currently an Amy's Bread Gourmet Hot Dog Bun? Uh, we do actually have a homemade gourmet hot dog bun. Yes, oh, it is. Oh, fantastic. All right, we make well. make them by hand, and they're they're a little misshapen. They're not like the kind that you get in the grocery store because they're done by hand, so they're like a little narrow. But um, we also, in our pantry, we have a really delicious New York hot dog made in Brooklyn, and then we put the hot dog bun on it, and it's we make have a local ketchup on there, and it's on our Thursday menu, so it's kind of a fabulous thing if you love hot dogs. Magnificent. Come and check well, it out. I'm, I'm so glad to know that this exists, and I will be tasting it myself very soon. So. One last question, what is your favorite type of bread? Well, it always changes, but usually it's something with whole wheat in it and kind of a crunchy, usually I like something crunchy. Um, my current Similar favorite, to what we had today. Yes, exactly. <laughs> my current favorite is our peasant wheat with toasted seeds, which has like a pumpkin seed, sunflower seed crust on it with a little bit of flax. So it's really nutty and crunchy, but it also has um, a great aroma with all the toasted seeds. So Wonderful. And really all delicious. the nutrition, of course, yeah. flax seeds Good got the got omegas. Good fiber, good omegas. Pumpkin seeds got mm -hmm. zinc. So yeah. there's, there's certainly a nutritious aspect, yeah. nutritional yeah. aspect to what you're doing. It's not just great taste bread it's actually helpful it's really good for you as too. well mm -hmm. Amy thank you so much for your time it was a thank pleasure you. thanks for the great you. bread <laughs>